Welcome to the first of the Rotary Year 23-24 uh, public image webinars. This is a back to basics webinar associated with the brand, but more specifically, the brand centre and how you guys can use it in your clubs for the work that you're doing in your communities, whether they are near or a little bit further afield. Um, we've got some little video extracts for you to watch later on. And we've got um, the Rotary editor, Mr. Dave King, who's going to summarise some of the thoughts that we've um, talked about tonight with regard to the brand centre. But also there's going to be quite a session on Q and A. So we are hoping you will be able to put your questions into the Q&A box. There is a bottom on the bottom of your screen for Q&A. Please put your questions in there and we will get one of the team. I think it'll be Irene tonight who'll be asking those questions and we will hopefully be able to answer them. And if we can't, uh, we will certainly take your details down and come back to you with an answer. So thank you again for joining us. We're going to kick straight off with a um, a screen share of the slide pack for tonight. Uh, so let me just prepare that for you. So that should be just coming on the screen now. I believe it is, which is great. And I will um, just grab my pack here. So um, this webinar is presented to you by the specialist advisor team uh, for public image. As you probably know already, my name is Phil Dyer. I am the team lead for public image in Rotary, Great Britain and Ireland. And this is a particular webinar about uh, the Rotary brand and the brand centre, which has recently undergone a quite a large uh, an update. So it's very apt. My email address is there and I'd welcome you to take that down if you've got any direct questions and I can pass them out to the team to answer. Uh, but we're just going to set the scene uh, first with a little bit of knowledge on uh, the other specialist advisor teams and how we are working together as one team across this new region. So there are five teams as they are appearing on the screen there. Uh, the first in blue, humanitarian service, headed up by Janine Birtwistle. We have membership, headed up by Steve Martin. We have the Rotary Foundation, headed up by Michael Hodge. Public Image is headed up by me, and I'm going to talk about my team in a second. And Leadership Development is headed up on an interim basis by the recent past chair of the board, Garth Arnold. But of course, uh, as with all good, um, all good teams, there is a, a, a team behind me. Uh, and although I sort of head it up, there is a team there. So uh, you should be able to see that now. So we've got Dave King is part of our team. He is the managing editor of the Rotary magazine in Rotary Great Britain Island. We also have Steve Gale as part of our team. And he heads up our relationship uh, with crowdfunder and crowdfunding uh, opportunities. Uh, so if you'd like to know more about that, drop me a note. But the team uh, themselves are in the second and third rows there. And they are Irene Russell, Sue Campbell, Cres Dickens, Maggie Hughes, Les Aldrich and Sue J. Paul. Uh, and they all have a particular um, area to work within. And that area is the clusters. You'll have heard of clusters so we have, um, we'll go, we'll go uh, north to south or thereabouts. So Irene Russell looks after Ireland and Scotland. Sue Campbell looks after the blue area there, which is Northern England and North Wales. Cres Dickens looks after the green in the centre, um, Middle England. Maggie Hughes looks after the turquoise, which is Southern Wales and the South West. Uh, Les Aldrich looks after Central and Eastern England, which is the purpley colour uh, to the north of London. And Sue J. Paul looks after London and the south. Uh, their details are available in the SAT team guide, uh, which has been distributed uh, quite widely, uh, but is usually part of the um, public image 
membership and foundation newsletters. If you want a copy and haven't got one to hand, drop me an email. But we're here in a supporting function for Rotary Great Britain and Ireland, and we're here to support you at uh, the club level, at a district level, at a cluster level, which is a new uh, interaction between uh, districts, but also as a region. Uh, those that don't know uh, these, that we are part of the first regional pilot for Rotary um, International uh, and uh, Rotary Great Britain and Ireland is, is part of this five, six year pr uh, pilot programme in order to work as a region. But in, in the region, we are working together and we want to be seen to be working into district and also from the teams, foundation, membership, humanitarian service, public image and LDT working together across it. So not vertically, but horizontally as well. We have one vision. We are one region, but we are always one rotary. We are a global organisation and we have a great vision statement. You've seen it before, but I'm going to take a minute just to talk a little bit about the vision statement. In fact, I'm going to read it to you. Together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities and in ourselves. And the most important words there on the screen are the ones that are uh, outlined uh, there and they are together people create change if it wasn't for us as Rotarians operating in the communities that we do both as I've said earlier near and far it is the people that make those changes happen in those communities changes for the good and of course in order for us for us to do that we have an action plan and we've adopted, of course we would, the Rotary International Action Plan. And the action plan is here. It is split into four distinct areas, all of which are perfectly aligned for public image. Increasing our impact is what public image is all about. It therefore, increasing our impact expands our reach into a wider community. So we get more people interested in Rotary. Enhancing participant engagement is looking after the members that we've already got. We have heard time and time again from our counterparts in membership that people join Rotary and the back door is open and the people leave as soon as they have joined. And it is our responsibility to make sure that they have a um, a job to do and feel valued in our in our membership organization and finally increasing our ability to adapt well we're on a webinar tonight no one's traveled very far so we are using technology at every level covid could be said that it's done us certain communication favors and allowed us to meet more regularly and interact more readily uh, on zoom so increasing our ability to adapt is very much uh, the name of the game. So that's the action plan. And that gets the first few slides out of the way. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our brand. And this is our brand. Quite simply, Rotary with the wheel. I'm going to come on to the nuances of the wheel a little bit later on but this is our brand and we should be very proud of it we are a global organization and we have 1.4 million members spread across the globe so what is the definition of brand and I've, I've, i found this on the internet i will make no exceptions or uh, it's not my words to mark indelibly as a proof of ownership. So you will see I'm wearing my uh, Rotary, wrong side, Rotary hoodie today, and I'm proud to wear the Rotary mark. It is a sign of quality and consistency to indicate a set of distinctive characteristics that establish a recognizable image or identity for a person or a thing. 
So Rotary is a thing in this occasion, and that is the definition of a brand. We should be very proud of our brand, but we need to use it in a correct way so that we get the biggest impact possible. Um, as you know, the image before, the Rotary brand has been out for 11 years now. And I hear almost on a daily basis that, oh, it's that new wheel and I don't like using it. Well, we need to get over ourselves. Like I say, we're in a, a, a um, it's 11 years in operation that, and we are a global organization. We need to be using our brand consistently. We need to remember as well that everything that we do in Rotary is a presentation. Everything that we do outside of our club environment is a presentation and the people, the public stakeholders, the people that we're trying to help all look to us. They see us in operation and we need to be seen to be part of this global organisation. So we need to think about that. How many times have we gone out and we've seen rot photographs of Rotarians sat down behind a gazebo uh, uh, waiting for something to happen? Those photographs, I'm sure it exists and I'm sure it happens, but do we really need to post those photographs online? They're not exceptionally vibrant or interesting. Do we need to post all the time our regalia shots and our shots with check presentations? Absolutely take the photograph, put it in the family album, but it's not an image that we want to be seen uh, out in the wider public. It is the action shots the, the 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 shots that indicate what we are doing and the impact that we're having on our communities that makes the difference as i've said a number of times already we are a global organization uh, operating in i'm going to say hundreds of countries maybe not quite hundreds but certainly at well over 100 countries uh, across the across the globe and we have to think about the imagery that we're putting out to the to the world People buy with their eyes. Remember that when you are putting a Facebook post on, if you've written a lot of text and there's no engaging photograph or more specifically a little video, then you are literally wasting your time and it will just scroll past. You will just be part of a, a stream of text that gets passed over. You need to make people stop and look at the post that you're putting out there whether it's a flyer whether it's an advert in a paper whether it's an article in a paper it needs to have the right headline so people stop and read that and the checks and the tabards and the regalia are not what we're about remember we are people of action as i've said before we are um, a, a global organization and we've got global tools We've got lots of tools at our disposal. And the key one for public image is the brand center. Uh, the brand center is recently re uh, revised and uh, is an amazing resource to start making sure that your public image is engaging, exciting and vibrant. There's lots and lots of resources there. And everything with regard to the brand sensor is all there. It's not behind a login anymore. It's not behind a password. Anyone on the globe can go to the Rotary brand sensor. Gone are the days where we had three volumes of Rotary rules associated with our brand. We're making it very easy to engage and find out how our brand works and how it can be used within your club, within your district, within your cluster for best effect and maximum impact. The brand sensor looks like this. This is the uh, holding page that you would get to. Like I say, it's not behind a login. It's behind uh, a login anymore. It is completely open. So there you go. Brand sensor, spelt the American way. We are an American organization dot rotary dot org and it will automatically collect collect the uh, language information there english and american so that is our um our holding page 
When you scroll down that holding page a little bit further, there is an introductory video which tells you all about the brand sensor and how it will work for you. And then scroll down a little bit further and you get the option of four distinct areas. We're going to spend a little bit of time now and talk about these four distinct areas. But there they are, our brand, templates, downloads, and of course, people of action, which is our main external strap line. So remember, if you're branding something and you've got your logo on there, then a people of action logo would really complement what you are trying to say. So let's go to the first section, our brand, which is split up into three sections. The, this is a more of a uh, tutorial part of the of the of the brand center and tells you a little bit about the people of action, uh, how our brand works on the brand elements, the typography, the colors that are used, the uh, the imagery which is acceptable and and how imagery should be used. And there's also a section on how to promote Rotary with some resources in there to help you um, um, po populate certain templates for um, for membership and flyers, uh, people of action. And there's lots of narrative in there so you can learn more, uh, a little bit more about the, the learning center. The second section is... Um, The second section is about downloads, and this is a great resource. So in here, you can download images and video. There is a lot of video. I think there's 161 individual video elements in different sizes. So vertical, uh, a, a portrait and horizontal um, and, and also landscape. There is some pr promotional materials in there. And there is also the logos and graphics. So you will find uh, Enpolio now. Uh, you will find Ryla. You will find um, Youth, Youth Exchange, uh, along with all the Rotary logos, which we're going to come on to in a, a little bit. And also under that section is the element where you can uh, download your own logo, which we will come on to and uh, and discuss uh, to tonight. Uh, so the next section. Um, is templates. Let me just click on again. Templates and templates are um, images and videos that are editable for people of action. Again, some promotional material and then the logos and graphics that you can make for your club. I think I might have one too many, uh, one too many uh, titles in here. I do apologize. Um, we've got templates we've done. And then the fourth section, sorry, I do apologize. The fourth section is people of action. And this is material specifically for people of action. So we've got uh, some promotional material. We've got some specialist people of action videos and audio. And we've also got some templates, which allows you to in, in, uh, import one of your club images and it will overlay it with a people of action mask that together we inspire uh, etc transform and the and the verb over the top of it so that's a little bit about what's in the brand sensor there is only four sections everything is connected uh, together uh, i urge you to go and have a little play with that there is a lot in there and it is really worth uh, spending 15 20 minutes uh, and and having having a look a look around there now i'm going to take a little bit of time to um to talk about the master brand. So the master brand is indicated here. And at the top of the screen, we have the traditional master brand with the word Rotary International uh, positioned with inside of the wheel. Uh, there is a registered mark on the uh, on the bottom right hand corner there. Uh, it is a registered trademark and you can uh, download this from the brand center below it. Uh, which is the one that I personally use, I think it's a little bit cleaner and fresher, is the simplified version. And those eagle eye people will notice that the words Rotary International are missing from that particular uh, wheel. Um, 
uh, and it enables us to have a cleaner, fresher look. This was originally developed for small print items and smaller items so that uh, uh, the word Rotary International couldn't, couldn't be printed. But since about 2019, is now available for use anywhere you want to use the Rotary Master brand. Lots of people will always tell me that I don't like the blue and I don't like the yellow and the yellow doesn't show up on white paper or on a white background. Uh, but Rotary have an answer for that. We have um, four distinct colorways in addition to the traditional uh, and here you see left and right the simplified and the traditional version. At the top we have azure blue, which is a slightly different blue to the uh, the traditional colours. We have a white and gold, which I uh, really like. That looks great on on screen and on overlaid over photographs. We have a black, uh, just to help if you've got a particularly light photograph and you wanted to put a logo on, that helps. And then, of course, we've got a white. So if you've got a particularly dark photograph, then you can float a um, a white logo over the top of that as well. We also have what is referred to as the mark of excellence. The mark of excellence is the rotary wheel. It comes in the four colours indicated and you are allowed to use the uh, the rotary wheel. Um, there are some rules associated with it, which we will come on to a little bit later, a little bit later on. Uh, but effectively, it can, it can be used, but it should all be always be used with a club logo, which we're, we're going to co cover in the next couple of slides. So you, by all means, use the wheel. It should not be obscured. It should not be a part wheel. You should never uh, cut it into a, a shape. And it should never, ever be used as the wheels on a bike or zeros in a number 100. It must always be respected and used in a clean, clear area on your flyer, on your Facebook post. Um, it should not be a device. I saw one yesterday where they were using it as a head on a, on a person. And I thought, oh, maybe not quite right that at all. So we should not use the master brand, sorry, the mark of excellence as a, as any other device, a wheel, a number, a zero, a head. Uh, I've, I've seen it used as the letter O in the word golf. Absolutely not. We should respect it and it should be nice and clearly positioned if you want to use it, of course. One other rule that you should know is that the simplified wheel is never, ever, ever, ever used on its own it's not available to download you would have to cut and carve this from the master brand it is not available as a download and therefore should never be used as a wheel on its own if you want to use the simplified wheel it always needs to have the word rotary before it on the left hand side which brings us neatly onto the club logos and we're going to spend a little bit of time on this because I thought it would be useful that you know what is acceptable and what is not acceptable with regard to the Rotary, uh, um, the Rotary Master brand in regard to your club, district or zone. So I've used my own club here. I'm uh, a member of District 1285 in uh, and around the Manchester area. And Prescott is just outside of or between St. Helens and Liverpool, which is my club. So here we go. Um, from top to bottom, you can write the word club, um, your club name above the word Rotary. You can write it below the word Rotary. I'll just see if the um, Rotary... Uh, you can write above and below. So you could have Prescott Rotary Club. We tend to use the this one here, the, pre, the second one down, Rotary Prescott. Uh, you can use it for your district and you can put District 1285. This is something that I personally don't, don't like doing. I don't think anyone knows what District 1285 is. And I often go and put the wrong number on presentations when I'm visiting other districts. I know I was in a District uh, 1040 recently and I put District 1041 on just to cause a little bit of a discussion. It is just a designator for us as Rotarians. What we use in uh, District 1285 
is Northwest England and Isle of Man, which gives us a geographical identity, uh, so so that um, so that they, they know where we're we're operating in. If you're doing a district wide project or operating a, a, a number of clubs in a certain area, it gives an indication. I know some particular geographies are more complicated to use than others because you are parts of different um, uh, different counties and areas. Uh, and then the bottom one is another one which is really for internal use. Uh, those that care to know, we are part of Zone 19 uh, in the Rotary world. Uh, zone 19 is Ireland, Scotland and Northern England and Southern England is Zone 20A. Uh, to, coin the, to coin the phrase, it's not something that we use an awful lot uh, because we're part of the regional pilot. So now I'm going to just go through uh, how you might be able to download your own particular logo. And apologies if this feels a little bit small, uh, but um, if you go to the logo system, so under uh, downloads, there is a box which says Rotary. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger for me. Um, It says uh, Rotary Clubs Districts and Zones logo, which is indicated in red there. You press that section and you will be met by uh, by this next slide, uh, which indicates what do you want to download? Do you want to download an Interact logo, a Rotaract logo or a Rotary logo? For the benefit of this webinar, we're downloading a Rotary logo. So you'd click on there. And then you are met with this particular box here, which brings up the rotary logo and then a button which says create. And you're in the creative mood to make your new logo. So that's the button you press. And then it launches a small application and it will look like this. Uh, now, I know this is awfully small here, but on the left hand side, I do zoom it in on the next slide. So please just bear with me um we we have um a, a box at the top which allows you to pick certain options and those options look like this so at the top we have a regular um uh, so you can swap between regular and simplified color so you can choose the color alignment which is above or below and then the text that you want to write in there and i'm going to go through for absolute simplicity each individual screen so uh, you pick here uh, regular or simplified whichever you collect uh, connect um click on uh, an image will will, will come up uh, of that of that revised uh the revised uh, mark that you're trying to create you then will decide whether what color you want and you'll you'll pick full color which is blue uh, leadership blue and gold all white black azure blue as i talked about and then white and gold at the bottom you pick the color you want and in real time your your logo is changing on the it's actually on the right hand side of here uh, and then you choose the alignment that you want so you can have above the logo as i mentioned earlier below the logo or above and below the logo you're then uh ready to drop in uh sorry you're dropping your name your club name and then you get a download button uh, and the download button you can download in three formats you can download in um a pdf which is really used for a, pr a print service provider if you were getting something printed they would the pdf is generally useless uh to to to, to you uh, but it, it's a specialist file that can be sent to a, a print service provider uh, for adjustment into a, a, a banner or some large print items. Uh, they're able to withdraw a vectorized image from that particular. Uh, but what's more important is the JPEG and the PNG. And the on the left here, we have the, um, the JPEG is surrounded by a white box. So it will always come with a white box. And the um, transparent item above comes with a transparent box it's actually sized the same as the white box but allows you to float that particular image if you're using powerpoint or canva or you're using some other other um, graphic soft software it allows you to float that over a photograph or or another another image
Uh, but just want to spend a little bit of time now uh, because they're a little bit easier to use. I wanted just to spend a little bit of time on the lockup. Uh, the lockup is a, a way of being able to identify a partner. So on the left, we have the Ro Rotary Action Group lockups, which are associated only with an action group and should never be used for anything other than a action group or a Rotary Fellowship. And then the three indicated on the right, we have Rotaract, Rotary and Interact. And these are lockup templates. And a lockup enables you to uh, personalise your club logo when you have a relationship with, and it says there, one partner, one sponsor, one programme or one event. So if you're working with a local hospice, you could put their name in there and or their logo. If you were doing a bag pack at a supermarket and wanted to promote it, you could be doing a bag pack at Asda and you could put the date on there. So that is allows you to personalise your logo. Now, there's lots of people experimenting with this at the moment, and I would just be careful on how far you experiment. The rules associated are written on the left-hand side there. One partner, one sponsor, one programme or one event. And it can either be text, in which it will follow the Rotary brand guidelines, or you can upload an image of your partner or sponsor's um, uh, livery. So if you are working with Rise Against Hunger, as we do in District 1285, you could put their logo in. The lockup template works very, very similar to the template that we've used already. Uh, but the nuances are that there is a separate text box uh, which allows you to upload text or a secondary rotary image, such as Ryla or, or Youth Study Exchange uh, or Empolio Now, if you were doing an event, or upload a partner logo. And we've got a couple of examples here. So the top one indicates the text, which is a partner, sponsor, programme or event. Uh, or the bottom there shows Aquabox, which are a known partner to Rotary. And we are uh, originally created by Rotary, a, Rotary, a Rotary Club and we work with Aquabox. And if you were working with Aquabox, you would write your livery this way. It would say Rotary Prescott in my situation. And on the right, the partner is Aquabox. So hopefully... Uh, you've got some ideas uh, there about how to use the brand sensor. Very easy to use. Yes, the first couple of run throughs just need a little bit of uh, finessing. Uh, but once you know which buttons you're pressing, just follow them down. And just to remind you that this um, this uh, webinar will be on the Rotary Great Britain and Ireland YouTube channel. And you'll be able to watch it back in full Technicolor at your heart's content in the future. Um, just wanted to spend a little bit of time now. Um, before we go to question and answers on some of the do's and don'ts. And I appreciate that this is a little bit uh, small, uh, but we'll start off at the top here. So we've got um, when we're using the rotary logo in our uh, in our in our clubs, we should always use it with a club identifier. So we should tell the the recipients of the flyer or the news article or the Facebook post what rotary club we're part of. You can use the master band as part of that elsewhere, but you should always have Rotary Club of, in my case, Prescott on the um, on the flyer. And going across the top here, you can't change the colours. The colours we've talked about, you can't make it purple or sky blue or green, as indicated here. Here we've got a um, a, a lockup, and it, it indicates a uh, a lockup how it how it should be used and how it shouldn't be used. On the uh, far right here. We have the old wheel um, and we've got, uh, I think it says garden centre underneath there. Um, uh, oh no, flower garden, sorry. Uh, but on the right hand side is the correct one. You've got your club logo at the bottom and it says flower garden at the top. That would be a sign that you put up as in this case, a flower garden. And moving across here, uh, we've got the correctly uh, spaced and set out master brand a signature with the club on. You can't cut it into a... Uh, a, a circle you can't put the wheel above the word rotary you can't centralize it it is always justified to the right and your club name is justified to the letter r um letter y of rotary um here we've got the simplified wheel 
you can't use the simplified wheel, but you can use your club logo with a master brand, uh, with a mark of excellence, absolutely no problems. Here's one that lots of people are still using, blue and yellow wheel, 11 years, we wave goodbye to it. Why it's still being used, I will never know. We need to use our master brand signature with our club identifier. Here we've got um, a, um, it's not the greatest example, uh, but I said earlier that you can't use the wheel as a uh, zero or a bike wheel. Well, here we've got it when you uh, look on the brand center, the uh, rotary wheel as a sun and the rotary club written around the perimeter. That's a no-no. Just write it exactly as it comes off on the, um, uh, club, uh, it comes off the brand center. Here we've got <clears throat> someone trying to use two different programs for a lockup. So here we have the Imagine Rotary from Jennifer Jones's year last year and then Polio now, both locked up together. A, it's not possible to do on the brand sensor, but if you were trying to manipulate it in a piece of graphical software, that's definitely a no-no. Put your club identifier on and then indicate the programs that you are dealing with, remembering that Create Hope in the World and Imagine Rotary are internal themes all those logos are available on the website, but they are internal themes and should not really form part of any external marketing that you are doing. Here, here we've got just a reinforcement that we're uh, we're using the um, the, um, the the master brand signature with the club identifier on there, and even if it is a little bit long, you can go down a couple or three lines, as is the case here. Finally, as we come up to the end here. Uh, we've got um, their master brand signature just showing a little bit of space. So give it a bit of respect, give the logo a bit of respect and a bit of space around it. They say the depth of the letter R should be used as the space all the way around it. Uh, so here we've got uh, people obscuring the wheel and putting a, a, a green dot over the top of the R. That's not something we want to do. We want to respect our, our brand. Uh, here we have got... Uh, someone who's trying to say rotary um, and it's got a, a phrase underneath it, um, planning for a brighter tomorrow. We're not putting a, a script under there. The, the, the area underneath the word rotary is for club, district or zone, as I said. And then finally, we are a global organisation and um, uh, we shouldn't, uh, we can write our club name in a, uh, foreign typeset as indicated here and I believe it might be Taiwanese but I might be wrong uh, but you can't change the word rotary so for example in these islands we couldn't write the word rotary in Welsh uh, because we're part of Rotary International and the master brand signature should should be respected so hopefully there's some do's and don'ts there they're all available uh, on the uh, brand centre uh, if you literally go to the brand center and the type in do's and don'ts, you get to this page is in a slightly different format, but you would be uh, able to do that. Um, I can uh, provide you with this version if you so wish and might be able to put that into the chat later on. But now uh, I've, I've done enough talking. I've got some colleagues from um, actually all over the world to talk to you tonight. Uh, and they've prepared a little video for me uh, just to talk a little bit about public image uh, so i hope you enjoy uh these videos they're very short uh take some time to listen and and see what you think so first up we have steve martin specialist team lead for membership rotary great britain island hi everybody I just want to say a few words about Public Image and its relationship with my team, the membership team for Rotary Great Britain and Ireland. Public Image, they are our number one allies. Phil and his team, what they do is so important. And why is that? Well, the reason is that your Facebook pages and your web pages, they are the gateway to membership to our organization. If somebody wants to join, they're gonna go and visit your web page, your social media, and if you haven't got it right, if it's not up to scratch, then quite frankly, they're going to go and look elsewhere. They're not going to be interested. So, if the last thing on your web page is last year's Christmas party, we need to think about changing it. We need to get it right. 
And if we do get it right, people will join our organisation. And if we get the culture right in our clubs and we use that public image to take us forward, people will join our clubs and they will stay. So have a great evening, everybody. Thank you, Steve. Now we're going to go over to Nico. Nico's my colleague and counterpart in Zone 17. He comes from Finland uh, and here he's not speaking in his native tongue. So please bear with him. It's about 45 seconds. Uh, so please meet Nico. Hi, Nico from Zone 17, Rotary Public Image Coordinator. Finland, Lahti, City of Lahti, and Rotary Club of Lahti, Vesijärvi. It's Centennial Club. In this part of Finland, Rotary is best known by international exchange Rotary students. Every year our club have had one inbound and one outbound exchange student. Also this year, one from Canada. The Rotary brand means safety, trustable people, hosting international exchange students. Thank you there to uh, Nico. Now I've got uh, a colleague now uh, from Zone 18, uh, Philip Flint. Philip is based in Denmark. Uh, he's a, a, a professional uh, photographer, you will see. Hi there, greetings from Denmark. My name is Philip Flint and I'm Rotary Public Image Coordinator from Zone 18. Now having a strong public image, a brand that is consistent is very important to keeping us strong long into the future. Delivering on our brand promise is also a very important thing. And more importantly, it's how we bring people into the organization and also how we keep them in our organization. Up to 40% of our neighbors are potential members and supporters. They don't know who we are. And even those who know what Rotary is, they hold many misconceptions of what we do. So it's very important that we as brand ambassadors Keeping a consistent brand, go out and tell the stories of the impact of the power of Rotary to our communities. I encourage all of you to do that. Thank you. Uh, now we've got our very own uh, Amanda Watkin, uh, who's going to jo uh, join us, uh, General Secretary of Rotary Great Britain and Ireland. Hi everybody, this is Amanda from Rotary International, Great Britain and Ireland. Great to see you all here and to know that you're learning more about the importance of public image. For me, public image is critical in our, to our success. You know, we've got loads of stories to tell. We've got the wonders of the Rotary Foundation, but it's that service that's actually going to get everybody connected. And if we don't tell people about what we're doing, how are they going to know that we're the best service organisation in the world to join? It's important to get the brand on point. I'm here with my Empolio Now information on my shirt. Um, and you can just put up your banners, you can put up your flags, but whatever you do, make it loud and clear that you're from Rotary. You know, tell the story, be proud of what we do, um, and make sure that you take every opportunity. So you could just be out and about in the town with your shirt on. You could be at a big event with a backdrop and on stage or whatever it might be. But public image is critical. If we don't let people know we're here, they won't know to come and join us. All right, then. Well, look, have fun with the team tonight and uh, going forward. And I look forward to learning more about what you're doing because your public image is perfect. Thanks a lot. Great message from uh, Amanda there. And now uh, I managed to get a, a quick chat with Tom Gum. And he is... Um, well, he's the aide to Stephanie Urchik for the uh, Rotary Year 24-25, but he also sits on the membership task force for Rotary International. He's a membership a guru and has set up literally hundreds of clubs, but he's talking to us tonight about public image. Hello, Rotary in Great Britain and Ireland. 
I am Tom Gump and I was invited by Phil Dyer to talk to you about how important public image is to growing Rotary. You know, Rotary International President-elect Stephanie Yurchek and I were in um, Manchester this past weekend and we learned a lot about growing Rotary from all of you. And what we learned is you can't grow Rotary without public image. You know, if we want to attract members and bring them into Rotary, we have to let them know about Rotary. If we want to engage our current members, we need to talk to them about the projects we are doing. If we want to start new clubs, we need to have good public image that tells people what Rotary does in general. So listen to Phil and the rest of the team and you'll be just fine. Thank you. So that uh, concludes the sort of presentation part of it now. I'm now going to uh, invite um, Dave King to turn on his camera and just give us a, a little bit of a thought live uh, to the to the audience tonight, Dave, on uh, on the importance of public image from your perspective, maybe summing up on those videos that you've seen tonight. So over to you, Paul. You know, thank you, Phil, and good evening, everyone. It's nice to see quite a few familiar faces on the uh, on the chat this evening. Um, wasn't it interesting to see what uh, Steve, Nico, Philip, Amanda and Tom had to say? Basically, it is that what we have is in Rotary is a, a strong and recognisable brand. And surely we should be playing to our strengths. In other words, being able to strengthen Rotary in our communities by using the brand correctly, as Phil has outlined, and also consistently. But... What was what was a theme of, of those five presentations? What was a consistent theme which they all spoke about was why? It's not about Evanston being pedantic. Actually, there's a very good reason. It is because we are identifiable. If we want to grow membership, then surely we need to make sure that our brand is out there and looks good. We will be, or Rotary Great Britain and Ireland will shortly be announcing its North Star project, uh, an ambitious uh, plan to grow membership over the next five years. And it's a very critical uh, thing that we need to be looking at. And uh, I'm just finishing off the current issue of the magazine and it'll, it'll be explaining quite a lot there. Because Rotary's logo reflects who we are. It's recognisable. I mean, it's been around since 1905. So it to people out there, whether they're existing Rotarians, whether actually they know a little bit about Rotary, it instantly identifies what Rotary does and what it can do. And what Steve, Nico, Philip, uh, Amanda and Tom were saying is that central to that is public image. Because we can have these great fundraising schemes, these great foundation initiatives, but if we're not telling a soul about it, then actually it doesn't have much value. So it's really important that our public image is pinpoint. And for yourselves within your clubs and with your districts, it's really important, therefore, that when you are promoting Rotary, that you do so with a brand which is ultimately recognisable to us. Public image, to my mind, is central to all that we do in Rotary because, and this is the bottom line, we are one rotary. Phil, time for some questions, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for uh for that, Dave, in summing up that in such uh a concise way. I'm just looking there. We yeah, we're back on. Um right, yeah, so we have had some questions. Um, that I'm uh, going to go through now. We're just having a small technical uh, hitch in the background. Uh, so I've got a question here from Audrey uh, Kinvig. Hi, Audrey. Um, um, good for you to raise a question. Thank you very much. Uh, Audrey asks, can you resize the logo? Say you want to put it on a signature at the bottom of an email. Uh, so the answer to that is, yeah, abs absolutely. Uh, there is no problem with resizing it to any size that you want. Uh, you just got to keep the ratios uh, between vertical and horizontal the same. Uh, but if you're using a PowerPoint or Canva, it generally does it for you. So, yeah, make it as as, as small as you need. Um, obviously, it wants to be readable and legible, but as big as you need. If you wanted to do a big banner for the side of a... Um, a bus. I know we've got some on the back of our Santa float, which is quite big, about 15 or 16 foot long uh, with the Rotary logo on there. So that is uh, that is uh, great. Yeah, no problem at all. Hope that answers the question. I've got a question here from Graham King. Let me just uh, 
have a quick read here. Yeah, I, you know, I thought we had moved away from promoting a Rotary club on the grounds that it implied an old school exclusive elitist group. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Graham. Uh, that is the thinking, particularly in westernized countries. Uh, and it is an option to use the word club or not. Uh, if you saw my uh, Prescott logos earlier in the presentation, you'll notice that the word club was only referenced there to show that you could write above or below the word rotary. So uh, you can use club by all means, uh, but it would be my personal preference not to have the word uh, a, a, cl a club there. Um, there, are, there is a slight, um, uh, there is a slight um, discord, shall we say, between uh, the brand sensor and what we're doing in Rotary Great Britain and Ireland. Uh, but, but as part of this pilot project that we're we're part of, the regionalised model. The word club is completely optional. Those, and I'm not an expert on the template website, but there is an option button in, in there to knock off the word club of, um, uh, or, or put it on as the case may be. So it's up to you. Uh, in my, my case, Graham, I would not uh, put it on. Uh, we've got a question from an anonymous attendee. If the mark of excellence isn't allowed to be used on its own, why is it allowed to be used on its own at the end of the Polo uh, Polo Now logo, like the one on Amanda's T-shirt? That's a good question. Well, one of the rules there is that that is a decision made by Rotary International, and that's the organisation that we work for, uh, or, or mem members of, maybe not work for, sorry, sorry about that, uh, that we are part of. Uh, so that is the uh, Empolio Now. We have the wheel at the top and it says Empolio Now. That is to signify that it's a Rotary International. It is also a nod to a, a previous um, uh, regime when we had the older wheel because Empolio Now uh, or the Polio Plus programme was set up about 40 years ago. So um, acceptable on the uh, Empolio Now. Uh, if you download it from the brand center, no problem at all. Um, you are allowed to use it on its own, but it should always be accompanied somewhere. So let me just take a, a, an example. If you had some T-shirts made and you had your logo here, well, on this one it's Rotary Great Britain and Ireland, but if you had Rotary Prescott written on your shirt, you could have the mark of excellence on the back. That would be no problems whatsoever. So it can be used... Uh, it doesn't have to, it can be used alone. If you were doing a flyer, you put the club logo in the bottom right hand corner and you'd put a mark of excellence in the top. Uh, certainly, I know the um, PowerPoint template for Rotary International has it, has it split like that. So you can use it on its own. You're just allowed to not use it exclusively on its own. It should all be identified by a club, a district, or a zone. Um, we've got um, a, a message in from Tiffany, which says it's been wonderful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, she's from Dip Dip District Public Image Chair in East Texas. So we've got some uh, American colleagues joining us and working on the brand uh, 101 training and presentation was spot on. Very helpful designer. Oh, that's just uh, thank you for thank you for that message. So I do, I do apologize for that. We've had Martin Ward has written. Um, uh, written an email here, um, a question in here. Is there a template for email signatures with contact details? Um, there isn't, Martin. No, um, no, there isn't, Martin. Um, there is um, uh, just um, uh, something that you'd have to do on your uh, on your own. Um, um if you uh you you wanted a signature there are various ones but if you wanted to drop me a note i'm very happy to share mine with me i follow the structure of rotary great britain and ireland which has uh, uh the master brand indicated on the left uh, and then the contact details on the right um and i'm quite happy to share that with you should you should you wish um i think that's probably all the um 
the questions we've got. I know we're coming up to the hour. We're going to try and finish on time. Uh, but just wondered if there was anyone else wanting to drop a question into the question and answer box. Uh, I see we've got Irene on the screen uh, now. I think we just had a small uh, technical problem with Irene, but it's lovely to see Irene back with us. Uh, I've done all the hard work already, Irene. Uh, so uh, there, but um, am I right in thinking that there might have been a, a question you wanted to ask? You might need to just. Uh... Yeah, there was a question around just to uh, just to clear up the the lockups. We are see, as you said earlier, you indicated earlier that um, we're seeing some lockups that aren't quite to to the rules, if you like. We know that it can be used for an event, partner, sponsor, or program. But what's the, explain this fellowship thing? Explain why it has to be different for a fellowship lockup. So are they? lock up for a a club it uses the club identifier mm -hmm. and a fellowship doesn't so a fellowship which is a registered um fellowship of rotary international um I, 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 it has to be registered there's a few tick boxes to go through and they're allowed to use the master brand rotary the wheel the vertical line and then the name of their fellowship so uh, uh the one that springs to mind is um, Cheryl Law and she has the gin, uh, the gin, I can't remember, the gin fellowship, the fellowship of gin. Uh, and that's perfectly acceptable. And it doesn't have a club identifier because it allows people from all over the globe to join the fellowship. Whereas a lockup, which is, as you've rightly said, for a program, a partner or a, a sponsor or an event, has a club or district or zone identifier. So if you were doing a, and if you don't mind me mentioning, you are doing a, a beer festival where you've got a gin bar. So you'd have Rotary Warrington. Yeah. And then on the right hand side, you could put um, a gin, gin and fizz bar uh, because that is an event that's been undertaken by Rotary Warrington. So hopefully that explains it, Irene. Um, yeah. What we don't want is long, long lists of, uh, of like, you know, for example, Rotary Prescott doing good in the world. It has to be an event, a program, a partner, or uh, or a sponsor. It can't be any any deviance from that. We don't want sort of like a little bit of poetry in there or a, a long line. I know we've seen all sorts of um, uh, extensions to that, particularly in District Twelve Eighty Five. I'm just having a look. Uh, yeah, I've got a question in here. Um, yeah, um, sorry, that's Chris Hill, who is from our own district, just wanting a big up for the Fellowship of Gym members. Whoop, whoop, come and join us. Thank you, Chris. Um, not, not necessarily a question, but uh, well, well received at this end. Uh, so we're coming up to... Uh, Can I just ask one other question? And it's, and it's, still, to, it's still to do with these lockups. It's my, it's my little thing. Can you have a partner logo and type in the name of the partner? on the right hand side well that's a very good question and i'm just going to quickly go to my uh my my little rule book and i've got a feeling you can um i'm just going to quickly have a look just bear with me um let me just have a quick look y yeah so I believe you can, but you can't do it on the brand center. It's an either or option text, which is formatted by Rotary International or a picture. It can't be both. Right. Okay. But so you're it, saying technically it's correct if you were to do it yourself. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to, I'm going to take it on the chin and say yes. Right, okay. but but it can't be two partners it has to be one right okay. it has to be one and that's a great question to end on uh we are coming up to our time um i hope you've enjoyed that it will be on the rotary great britain and ireland um um youtube channel in the next few days i hope you found it very useful thank you to our speakers from all over the world america denmark finland and for dave king summarizing I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to close the webinar now. 
And if you've got any questions to ask, uh, please email me. My details are in the SAT team guide. Uh, have a great evening and uh, we will see you very soon. All the best. Mm -hmm.